Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys an Iron Man related video. This is going to be 10 hours of Lobstrosities. The goal for this video is to see the hourly rate of profit plus obtain as much seaweed and giant seaweed as we can. In return, that will grant us with a ton of soda ash, which uh, I'll be showing at the very end of the video. So that'll help for crafting and overall the these uh, Lobstrosities have a pretty interesting drop table. Now it is important to note that this was all done on the side while I was killing Blood Reavers on my main account, so you can imagine that uh, the kills per hour were not at the maximum efficient rate, so let's just keep that in mind. But uh, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So starting things off, we have a Dragon Spear drop in the very first hour, and uh, even wearing a Ring of Wealth, this drop is 1 in 12,783. And we recently just came off a big abyssal demon video on this account uh, and I had a lot of dragon spear drops in that so I was not uh, expecting another one from lobstrosities of all things but nevertheless I will take it it'll look nice in the collection in the bank so as you can see the inventory here a lot of what you're gonna receive is noted uh, just noted herbs and stackable items as well as if you bring a gym bag and a herb sack you can bank everything automatically inside of those two things you do get a decent amount of gems here and you definitely get a decent amount of a herb so I would really suggest you bring both of those items here. Alongside that the ring of wealth was accumulating all the numulite and coin drops so I didn't have to go out of my way to pick up any of that. And unlike in uh, most lobstrosity videos I decided not to use a trident of the seas. Um, I actually went with the brine saber so at least we know that everything I got from this video is all profit and I didn't really have to spend anything to do it except for a decent amount of prayer potions. And when I say a decent amount I definitely mean less than a hundred. Um, probably close to 100 and the reason I wanted to use prayer here was mainly because I just wanted to AFK as much as possible and stay down here as long as I could so that was just uh, something easy for me to do and I have so many prayer potions in the bank on this account that I never use for anything so I figure why not uh, make this more convenient for me overall the lobstrosities don't really hit too much but uh, I just didn't really have that great of tank gear on this account and you have to make sure that you don't go over 28 kg when you're in the water so I was having trouble with that. But other than that, uh, you know, everything was pretty smooth sailing for this one. Uh, most people here do bring flippers, but I just don't have them unlocked on this account. Uh, the only difference between flippers and not having them is essentially you can swim much faster underwater, so it just kind of gets you to where you need to go faster. But I really wasn't swimming too much. I was trying to stay in one oxygen bubble the whole entire video and just have the same two lobstrosities right next to me so I can click on them pretty uh, easily. And at the end of the day, with this combined with the lack of bank because everything that I banked was essentially just from the herb sack and the gym bag. Um, everything else just stayed in the inventory the whole entire time. I did manage to hit over 19 million strength XP. I think I probably received close to uh, anywhere from 300 to 400k strength XP in this video with the Brine Saber. We are nearing our goal of 20 mil strength, so that is nice. Overall, I was getting a couple Snapdragon seed drops as well as Renar seed drops. The Renar is 1 in 800 and the Snapdragon is 1 in 557. And you also do have the chance to get a Torstal Seed, but that is one in 30,000, which um, I did manage to get one, so that's pretty crazy. Overall, though, if you're not going to be standing in the oxygen bubble, you can, of course, uh, be picking up the Pufferfish drops, and you can eat those Pufferfish or suck on them, whatever you do, to get all the oxygen back if you're outside of the bubble. So that's one way uh, that you don't have to really stand in the uh, same spot the whole time. But it was just a simple thing for me to do because this was all done on the side, and I was just trying to make sure that I would uh, pay attention to the screen enough so that I'd always be in combat uh, and then I'd pick up the drop slowly but surely. Every single inventory just to speed things up I did bring uh, a superset so you know my DPS was a little bit higher than usual and uh, with this I was getting about 210 kills per hour with concentration probably around 170 kills per hour if, if I was unable to pay full attention to the screen. I really wish there was more footage for this video but I was struggling to find a lot of it because there's just no rare drops here. Um, I didn't even collect the fossils this time around and the only tier clue scroll that you can expect here is the level one easy clues so with that being said there really wasn't that much footage just kind of picking up uh, every drop on the drop table at least once of course and seeing them stack up over a time span of 10 hours this was a really laid back experience I did kind of underestimate the clicking as I did mention in my last video it was much more concentration than I thought because uh, these lobstrosities only have 50 HP and they are 40 defense so you know they're very fast to kill 
so fast that it's five minutes in the video and we're already done with the 10 hour grind so there you go ladies and gentlemen i finished this last night just around two o'clock in the morning uh like i said a little bit more clicking than i anticipated but the drops were very rewarding and it was just a cool experience to kill something underwater i have done one lobstrosity video but it was many many years ago so it was nice to return here uh, this time using a brine saber so i saved so many supplies on runes and really just used a little bit of prayer potions which wasn't a big deal so with that being said we are now going to price check every single thing that we got in this 10 hour time span uh, looks like i forgot the dragon spear but other than that uh, everything is accounted for so we have all the gems all the seeds all the runes all the herbs seaweed and coins and it looks like we made roughly 2.6 million from 10 hours of lobstrosities now in my peak hour i was getting around 210 kills an hour but again the normal for me was probably 100 170 so know that if you probably use a trident here or you're paying a lot more attention here you can get much more kills an hour which will result in more seaweed an hour and if you do get this seaweed if you're an iron man account you only have to bring out four giant seaweed every single inventory and once you're cooking them on a fire you will be rewarded with a full inventory of soda ash and since my iron man is nearing 90 crafting i uh, really couldn't pick a better time to get all this seaweed i think i have it banked by now with uh, everything that i have so that's really good. This account is purely something that I do on the side. I really do enjoy the long-term grind of it and the long-term goals and the loot videos that I do and that I AFK really do uh, help out the bank and help out the max total goal, uh, which I'm going for one day in the very far future. So with all that being said, if you guys have any video suggestions for this account specifically uh, related to the 10-hour series, I know you've seen me kill literally everything in the game except, you know, a handful of things that are very end-game content. But I do want to make this 10-hour series as good as I can. We got 22 videos on it. We got 150 videos on the loot series, so I really want to get this series in the hundreds as well. It's going to take most of the year, but I do plan on uploading, uh, if not every day, then every other day. So with all of that being said, any suggestions are appreciated. I'm totally not trying to extend the video's length right now. That is not what I'm doing, but personally, I don't mind killing any monster in this game or doing any activity, but uh, if it's something that you guys want to see more so than something else, then I definitely want to prioritize the right things for this account and my main and with more ideas comes more videos for you all to watch so it's a win-win but uh, with all that being said thank you guys very much for taking the time out of your day to watch today's video i will see you in 24 hours with a main related loot video it's going to be loot from 10 hours of zeros spiritual mages i'm halfway done with it and the loot is already looking phenomenal so until next time mr no sleep out by the way if you watch till the end thank you